Hello everybody, in today's video we're going to be checking out a puzzle made of horseshoes and a couple extra links of chain and a ring. Now the whole goal of this puzzle is to get the ring off the horseshoes, just like this. So now it's off the horseshoes. Now I recently got this puzzle from a fan of mine named Kyler. Thanks again. I made an unboxing of a whole bunch of puzzles from him. Uh, the link will be at the end of this video as usual. I like this puzzle because when I was in grade 8 metalworks class we made a variation of this not with actual horseshoes or anything like that but just out of regular metal and I really liked it back then and I totally forgot about it. I completely forgot about it until I saw this and I was like I know this puzzle. I've done this puzzle before so in my heart there's a little bit of space extra for this puzzle compared to some of the other ones. So it's not a particularly hard puzzle. Uh, it's actually fairly easy to get this ring off. It seems impossible though, because you can't pull it off either side. Obviously there's no holes to get it through in any way. And then if you go like this, you can't exactly get it through here because they're locked here and here. But regardless of that, the solution actually is very simple. But let's talk a bit more about this puzzle before we show you the solution. So on the flat side of the horseshoe, you can see that it has some wordings up above. I'm not 100% sure what that means, but uh, I think it might just be like a brand name or something like that. Or maybe it's the brand name of the actual horseshoe that it was made out of. And the other side just says classic up above, and this is the non-flat side where it has the groove in the side so you can put the nails into the horse's hooves. So I'm not sure if this one was used or not prior, but it does look like it's got some wear on it. If you take a look up here on this actual chain, you can see that there's, you know, a lot of the black rubbed off. Obviously near the ends of them, they're pure silver because that ring continuously hits them and wears down that color over time. But it's got a really nice old look to it, which I think is great because it's made of horseshoes. So anyways guys, let's go ahead and show you exactly how to solve this thing. And if you don't want to see that and spoil it and you just want to go to the end and see my final impressions of it, just scroll to there in the video. And, uh, and you'll skip that entire process. All right guys, so again, it can't come off here. There's no secret openings. There's no like opening in the ring or in any of these links. Everything is completely solid. Uh, so you can go like this. Now, it says, like you kind of think it's gotta go like this, right? So like how is that possible to get it in there? Because you can't, you can't turn it and then like force it through or anything. So at first glance, yeah, it seems impossible. But the way to do it is there's a twist to it. And I mean that literally, there's a literal twist to it. You turn one of them one way and the other one the other and you create this gap where that ring is going. And that will allow you to put them in between. Now the rings oh, <laughs> are in between and now it can come off. And it's really just that simple. And then to put it back on, obviously it's the same thing. You just put it on and then you just kind of open it up again. And there you go. And it can be done really quickly. That was a fail. <laughs> it can be done really quickly <laughs> to get it off. Or sometimes, yeah, you do have to struggle with it a little bit. Sometimes it's nice if you take it and you move it like one to this side, one to that side, and then it's a lot easier to do it. Uh, but it's, it's definitely not necessary. Anyways, guys, so that is the horseshoe puzzle. Again, I mean, I really like this puzzle because I made one a long time ago, just not of this quality, and there's no way I even know where that one is anymore. <laughs> I think I actually left it in the metalworks. Now I would be interested in it, but back then it was cool, but it was just another stupid project in class so I could get into my next grade. <laughs> Anyways, guys, I'm not sure where to find this, but... I'm going to link you guys down below if I can find it on Puzzle Master website. I will link that down below um, in order to, uh, to give you guys access to where you could get this if you want it. Really nice, high quality puzzle. Thanks for watching guys. I'll see you on my next video.